Hi, I'm going to show you how to conduct a little bit more of a specific and advanced search within the Film and Television Literature Index with Full Text Database. Um, so you see here that we are on the advanced search page within the Film and Television Literature Index from EBSCO. Um, the advanced search looks a little, they recently updated their site. So the basic search looks very similar to the advanced search, but I will show you the difference right now. So I'm going to click on the basic search link just to show you the difference. So see how there's only one search box here? Um, and it says enter any words to find basically what you're looking for. We'll just assume that's what it says. Um, but it has some of the um, filters and limiters that the advanced search does, but it only has keyword terms and I can't really specify anything too specific. So I'm going to click back on the advanced search. And again, um, you'll notice that you have the advanced search because there'll be more than one search box and it'll give you such uh, like mod such modifiers like boolean modifiers which are these right here that say and or or not um, and I'll explain what those do in a second um, and in the advanced search you can also specify if you want to like search by the author of the article the title, subject terms, and then if you don't click anything, um, it'll it by default it searches all areas. Um, so, say our intro to film history class is asking us to find an article that's talking about a specific movie and a specific film genre. So. Um, I'm going to go in my first box here and I'm going to type in film noir because I know that is a popular film genre. And um, so I also know that Double Indemnity is a famous movie from the film noir period. So I'm going to try to find an article that mentions film noir and that movie. So I'm going to type in double indemnity here. And so remember these Boulain phrases? Um, so right now it says or, but I want it to say and. It's kind of simple, but so, um, so when it's on and, it means that it's gonna search the term film noir and the term double indemnity. If I wanted to find an article that was about either film noir or double indemnity, that's when you would want to use the or. So it would search for articles that feature film noir or double indemnity, not necessarily together in the same article. And if I wanted to eliminate um, something, you could use the not. Say I wanted to find an article about film noir, but I don't want it to mention the movie Double Indemnity, that's when you would hit not. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to and because I want to find an article that talks about film noir and double indemnity. Another thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some quotation marks around the phrase double indemnity. The reason why I'm doing that is because this is a movie title and I want it to search for both of these together, not the word separately. Um, if I didn't put the quotation marks, it would look for things that have film noir and the words double and or the words indemnity. And when you put the quotation marks, it means that this is the exact term I want, double indemnity. So, okay, I, I'm satisfied with my search terms. I have film noir, the movie title in quotation marks, my and selected. And then I'm going to go down to my more search options here. So, you know, one thing that I always like to do with every search is I always love to hit the full text limiter and the peer reviewed limiter. When I do this, it means that all the results it finds will contain both a full text of the article, either a PDF or HTML file that I can download. And it means that it will be peer reviewed and quality controlled and fact checked by other scholars. All right, so I'm ready to go. I like this. I'm going to hit search. 
All right. Um, so it takes me to my results page. And look, um, it found 13 results, 13 results that feature both the phrase film noir and the film double indemnity. Now, I just realized that the professor said he only wants articles written from the last 10 years. Um, and I forgot to put that on my search. So I can refine my results right here um, on this little menu on the left of the screen. So see where it says, um, ah, see where it says publication date? Um, and so the professor said he wants articles uh, within the last 10 years. So that would be from 2007. So I'm going to enter, I'm going to change this date and hit 2007. So that means that it's pulling from the range of 2007 to 2017, um, meaning that this database doesn't technically have any articles from 2018 yet that feature the subject. Anyway, so, okay, great. So um, all my filters are applied and I'm gonna scroll through and find the article I like. Let's see, this one looks interesting. Um, so I clicked on this link and I'm, I'm skimming the article the abstract is very brief, but it's saying that it's talking about film noir, the time period, and double indemnity, plus some other films. So I like it. So I'm, I could download the PDF, um, but, but say maybe I'm not sure if I want to download it yet. Um, maybe it's not quite the research that I need. So I'm going to go back to this page and I'm going to go to the right of the screen. And if you'll notice that there's this tool menu here, which there's a link to Google Drive means that I could download this article to my Google Drive. Um, I can add it to a folder. I could print it. I could save it or I could email it to myself. Um, so just say I want to email it to myself. Um, but I don't necessarily want to. So you would enter your email here and then hit send. So then it would be in your email. Um, so I'm gonna go back and decide that I didn't like that article and I wanted to look at my other options. Ooh, femme fatales. Let's see what that one, if that one looks interesting. Um, it has film noir, it claims that it mentions, it discusses double indemnity and other film noir films, and I like it. Oh, but interesting, it doesn't have a PDF for me to download, it has a linked full text, excuse me. This just means that it's saving a link, um, to this PDF, which then means that I can copy this link uh, to my desktop, I can email it to myself, and then I would have access to this PDF. Um, but see how it added that extra step of, and it doesn't give me the download. Oh, it does. Um, I could download it, but it was that extra step where the PDF wasn't available that you had to go through this um, through the linked full text. Anyway, that's how you do a more advanced search in the Film and Television Literature Index with full text. Um, good luck searching and yeah, have fun.